Well, let's head to Glasgow and join Patrick Verhoyen, who is the CEO of the Global Centre on Adaptation. A very good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. So a promise for money from richer countries, in essence, to developing countries. Uh, how confident are you that that money will get through and that it will help? Well, the money has to come through, particularly for Africa. Why Africa? Africa is in the middle of the storm of the climate crisis. Obviously, all regions are impacted uh, these days by the climate emergency. But it is particularly Africa which is living with uh, this crisis. Thousands of uh, lives are being lost annually. Millions of livelihoods are being um, impacted. For Africa, it's adapt or die and financing has to flow. Developed nations have committed a uh, hundred billion dollars a year of which half should go to adaptation, adjusting to the climate impacts. And let us not forget, Africa is suffering today in a world which is warmer 1.1 compared to pre-industrial times. But even if we live up to the Paris Agreement goals of a 1.5 degree world by 2030, Africa will suffer. So it is up now to develop nations to come through with public finance uh, for Africa. Yesterday we saw at the COP African leaders putting a plan on the table and we were delighted that the UK came forward with its initial contribution towards this plan. And, and, and who, can, who can hold those richer countries to account? How will they be held to account to make sure? I mean, you've made an impassioned case as to why it has to happen, but, but who is going to ensure that that money comes through and that, and that African countries are helped? So it, it's important to realize it's in the self-interest of developed nations to invest. Why? Because every dollar, every euro, every pound invested in adaptation in Africa has a four dollar pound euro in return. It, it makes simply economic sense. So African leaders said, well, we are ready to put six billion a year on the table from our own national budget. What we need from you developed world is to, to match us, to partner with us. What we see here in Glasgow is some initial contributions towards this, this, this goal, but now um, Africa leaders, as they said yesterday, we are tired of waiting. We can no longer wait. It's important to realize the crisis hits Africa, but it will not stay in Africa. Global supply chains will be impacted. We see that today with the supply chain disruption. Um, migration streams will come to Europe. So it's simply good economics to invest in adaptation in Africa. It's good for our health, it's good for our planet, and it's good for our economy. Uh, all of which makes sense. Is it about more than just money, though? Are there other things that wealthier nations could also be providing apart from just pure cash? So cash is vital. Sharing of solutions is critical as well. Uh, the organization which I lead, the Global Center on Adaptation, does precisely that. Solutions in one country, such as in the Netherlands or in Bangladesh, should be shared and scaled in different parts of the world. What is needed now? Scale and speed. We also need more innovation. We need innovation on drought tolerant crops. So when the rains are not coming to different parts of the world, that we have crops which can sustain that. So innovation is key. Finance is key. Bringing the private sector uh, in. I think the playbook is there. The plan is there. It's now for the world to act upon it. And the time to do so is now. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon, sir. Thank you, Patrick Bakuhin, the CEO of the Global Centre on Adaptation, uh, speaking uh, from Glasgow.